Hello everyone. Welcome to the Take 10 video series for 7th and 8th grade. My name is Sam and I'll be your facilitator on this journey to nonviolent conflict resolution and peaceful communities. This series is designed to take you through the entire Take 10 curriculum in just 10 short videos. Students and teachers are encouraged to pause these videos uh, periodically to do the activities mentioned, to discuss the lessons, or just to ask and answer questions. Uh, in this video, I'm going to introduce myself and tell you a bit about Take 10 and why it's so important. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So first, a bit about myself. I am originally from the South Side of Chicago. I graduated from Notre Dame in May of 2020 with a degree in philosophy, and I'm now working as a middle school social studies teacher and language arts teacher uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So there's me in the bottom right corner as a small knobby kneed potato shaped boy in Chicago. And then me when I was your age uh, in eighth grade and uh, way too into math. And here's me now up here. Uh, I decided to do Take 10 because I love teaching and because I believe that peaceful conflict resolution strategies are one of the most important skills you can learn as a person living in community with other people. Uh, but that's getting a little ahead of myself. So first, what is Take 10? So this is our official description. Uh, Take 10 is a skills-based violence prevention program that teaches positive, nonviolent alternatives for solving problems, handling conflicts, and expressing feelings. So let's break this definition down. Um, I've underlined a couple important phrases, and now I'm going to have you turn and talk with a partner, or if you are watching at home or just prefer to reflect on your own, uh, just write down your thoughts in your packets or in a journal uh, to the following questions. So go ahead uh and pause the video and we'll give you 30 seconds to answer this first question and then we'll come back together to discuss so is there a difference between conflict and violence and if so what is the difference so let's give you 30 seconds to discuss that okay so now let's discuss this first question together so we'll go over this difference in more detail uh in the next video on chapter one but just as an introduction, here's what we see as the difference between conflict and violence. So conflict, uh, there can be many different kinds of conflict, but for the purposes of Take 10, we're gonna focus on conflict as a disagreement between people. On the other hand, violence is anything that causes harm to yourself or to another living being, place, or thing. And the interesting thing about these two uh, words is that they have a tendency to lead to each other in a kind of cycle pattern. So um, conflict, when you have conflict, it tends to lead to violence and violence tends to lead to more conflict. Uh, and the goal of Take 10 is to kind of break that cycle before it happens, to resolve conflict in a way that doesn't lead to violence and to reduce or completely eliminate violence in our communities. So this brings us to the first of the Take 10 principles. Every person has a right to safe, violence-free places. So safety is one of the most fundamental needs a person requires to live. From prehistoric times until now, humans have sought shelter from storms, from predators, uh, from neighbors who maybe haven't gone through Take 10 and are kind of threatening you. Uh, and here at Take 10, we believe everyone has an equal right to these safe spaces, to exist in spaces that are free from violence, regardless of who they are or where they come from. Everyone has this right. We believe this because one, it's such a fundamental need. All humans share this feeling uh, and it's an essential first step before we can grow and pursue our own goals and interests. And also because all people deserve to be treated equally. So if one person deserves safety, which I know I feel like I do, then everyone does because we should all be treated equally. Uh, of course, though, in the world we live in today, not everyone has access to these violence free places. Not everyone feels safe where they work and live and play. So our goal with Take 10 is to continually spread 
uh, peace strategies and eliminate violent conflict to create more safe spaces for everyone. And so this is what you're going to help us with, hopefully, by the end of the semester. So that's the first Take 10 principle. Uh, we'll go over one of each of the Take 10 principles in each video. So here's the second turn and talk. Um, what skills would you need to resolve conflicts without using violence? So let's give you 30 seconds again to, again, reflect on this, write in your journals, or turn and talk with a partner. Okay, so here are some of the skills you might have talked about or written related to Take 10. Uh, so you can see here, confidence is on here, self-control, empathy, uh, diplomacy, learning how to navigate these conversations. Um, this is by no means a complete list, and I'm sure there are many that you all came up with that I missed here. Uh, and there might be some here that you're unsure of what these words exactly mean. Uh, that's okay. So the goal of this course is to teach you about these skills and to help you practice and develop them. So let's go to the third turn and talk. Uh, how many feelings or emotions can you name in 30 seconds? So let's give you 30 seconds, write in your journals, talk to your partner. How many feelings or emotions can you name? Okay, and here are some of the emotions you might have come up with. Uh, as you can see, humans are capable of tons of emotions, and part of being a healthy and peaceful person is being able to recognize all of them in yourself and others, to know why they occur, and to know how to cope with them. The goal of Take 10 is not to restrict you from feeling any of these feelings, even anger uh, has its place, um, but only to help you recognize these emotions and how to respond to them without resorting to violence. So that's what Take 10 is about. It's about developing these skills uh, to help you deal with emotions and conflicts without resorting to violence so that we can all live together happily and peacefully. This course is gonna have nine chapters to help you reach this, reach this goal, or eight chapters, excuse me. So chapter one is on conflict and violence. Two is values and principles. Three, we're gonna be talking about fair and assertive behavior. Then four, we're talking about controlling our anger and uh, dealing with our emotions and conflict. Five is effective communication, listening and talking. Six is gonna be problem solving. Seven is trading perspectives and solutions. And eight is knowing when to walk away. So now that you know a little bit more about Take 10, let's do some goal setting. So in your packets or in your journals, uh, I want you to write down one goal you have for yourself related to Take 10. But here's the catch. These goals have to be SMART goals. So on this uh, slide here, I have what SMART goals are. Um, it's kind of an acronym. So S stands for specific. So the goals are clearly defined. They're measurable. So you attach numbers to these goals. Don't just say some vague concept. It's numbers that we want. Uh, it's action oriented. It's things you're actually going to be doing. R is realistic. So this is a goal that you actually think you can do. And T is timed, which means you're going to set a deadline by the time you hope you can complete this goal. So some examples of this might be like, for one month, I'm going to keep a reflection journal and write down one thing that I did each day to promote peace in my community. So that's specific, There's measure, it's measurable, it's action oriented, it's realistic, and it's timed. Another example could be, um, I'm going to avoid using violence in every situation against other people for the entire semester. So this is, again, it's realistic, it's timely, it's action oriented, it's all of these things. So I'm going to give you some time now to think of your own SMART goal related to Take 10 for this semester. Okay, and the last thing for this lesson is going to look ahead to the next lesson. So like I said, in the next video, we'll be discussing Chapter 1 on Conflict and Violence. Uh, so with that in mind, I want you to think of two conflicts you've experienced or heard about, one that ended in violence and one that ended in a good outcome. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for listening and tune in next time.